Alright guys, so I'm gonna do an update on this, on my, my first run of this game. So, um, I'll start with the war that, I, that we've been waging that's currently stopped. Uh, I'm gonna call that the Second Cyrenid uh, Offensive. Yeah, that sounds nice, right? That sounds respectable. This is their nation, all this yellow. And that expands from here, from this castle in this region here, to there. They have the second smallest nation, and it may look like they're the smallest, but let's take a look at the Swadians. The Swadians don't even have a city anymore. The Nords took everything. They have four castles and four uh, town towns. One castle with, uh, with one town each. That being here, that little yellow dot is, you can see that, yeah? Here, here, and then I believe the other one is here. Um, they're still at war with the Nords. The Nords have claimed all of this, and they don't really have very much. Uh, and when, you know, if, if they manage to make peace, they'll probably have... Three or the three, I Purdue. I I think they'll try to surrender uh, when they lose one or two more of their castles. Um, but that breeds another problem because the Nords, uh, the Nord King, does not like me, and I'm with these green dudes. I'm with the Radix. They don't like me at all, uh, which is okay because these lines up here are very very weak. Uh, but the Swadians are very, very weak, and they don't have the power to take these back. So if they do declare war on us, we will most likely take all of these lands here. Um, this is what's left of the Vajir lands. I haven't really been looking into the war here. I'm just kind of noticing this now. This is all that's left of that. And then there's the... So it's, it's pretty much going to come down to a war between the Radix and the Nords. Because once we wipe out these guys, I hope I'll be king by the time I'm able to wipe these guys out. Or at least have claimed one of these cities for myself. King uh, Gravith should probably give me Amurad or Barrier. Um, and then I should have the standings because I'm going to marry the Marshal's daughter, Count Reland's daughter. Uh, hopefully, if I if I ever meet her, because I, I don't know where the fuck to find her. So, uh, yeah. If all goes well, once these guys are wiped out, we'll start a war with, uh, with the Connet. And I know it sounds like I'm being a dickhead, which I kind of am. But once I conquer these lands, it'll basically be a war between the AI that controls... Uh, King Ragnar, who is positioned here at their capital in Sargoth. Um, and everything else, because they're going to wipe out the Swadians and then probably turn their attention to... Well, they're not likely to turn their attention to us yet, because we've had nothing but victories, and they'd probably know that we're going to be their, their greatest opponent. They'll need to build up their lands. So they're probably going to go after the Vajirs, because their, their border is right here. This is their border right there where that yellow dot is. Uh, and they're, these guys are currently at war with the Connet, and the Connet is obviously winning. So if the Connet doesn't wipe these guys out, the Nords will. Um, and we'll have wiped out these guys. That'll leave about three nations left, assuming the Swadians go uh, and, and don't surrender. Um, and well, I guess if the Swadians surrender, their lands will be taken, so... You know... What are you going to do? <sighs> they could... New kingdoms can form. There are people that start new kingdoms. Um, but I'm predicting it's just going to... By the time I'm king, war will have started with the Nords and the and my people, the Radix. And I hope I'll have the tactical prowess to push the Nords back far enough that we can claim the front lands. If we can hold all this from, from Pravin here to Dehrim... Uh, I'm hoping we will be able to carve a, a straight line right across all the way to Nara uh, from Prav. And hopefully, hopefully if things go as planned, I'll be able to do that. Uh, 
because war, because because they make peace periodically. You know, war never lasts long enough to take out a nation this large. It never does. It ends quickly. I mean, because I mean, last time I updated, we didn't have Cherise, did we? No, we had. Yeah, we had Jim. We had Jim Manchi. But then the no, we no, we had way. Yeah, we did have Cherise. I think. Oh well, I, I remember we captured all of this. This is all we've we've ended up taking here. Um, in that time, it was half their nation's worth, but they were already a small nation, uh, seeing as they they had a lot of wars going on. So, essentially, I'm hoping that we'll wipe the Syrians out, and in the end, it'll end up with a war between the Radix and the Nords. And when that happens. Hopefully, being that I'm the player and uh, they're the stupid AI, uh, I should win. And if I win, that means the entire land of Caldaria will be once again united under a, an empire. This time I'm going to call that the Radic Empire. Uh, I'm not sure if this expands. I'm pretty sure this doesn't. This would be nice for a mod that would add more to this because there's a whole fuck ton of land that is just not, it's just not covered with... Anything that in the lore there are nations here, but they're all peaceful. I'd want to conquer them to unite the entirety of Caldaria. This is only like a small part of Caldaria, um, but essentially I could bring the Caldarian Empire back, which is a thing in the lore. Um, I might do. I might when I get a PC play this uh, if I can ever get into mod making to expand this and to add. Uh, much more vast, vast kingdoms. Uh, I'll try to make sure that, I don't know, if you guys support me in doing that, then, then yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Um, things are going well. The resume stuff is going to be done this weekend. I'll have, I'll be in that program by the 19th. I'll be making paper, hopefully enough to get a decent enough laptop that I can record directly on this and don't have to hold this this fucking thing here. You, the tablet. Um, the only thing I would need to know is, will it record party chat? Uh, and if it can record party chat, I'd, I'd need uh, to buy a, uh, I need to buy a little headset or just a new controller because this one kind of, kind of gay. I mean, it's it's all right, it's functional, but it's kind of on the verge of being going in the dumpster because it'll eventually have something wrong with it, probably with this stick. Anyway, I'm rambling. That's all it's going to be. This is an eight-minute video uh, just on the update of everything that's been going on. And yeah, that'll, that'll be it, guys. Uh, Peace fuck out. Uh, leave your comments on what you think I should do and uh, and what nation you think I should go after next. I, w I would imagine the Cyrenids, to be honest. The Sultanate is weak right now. And when another war is started, when our lines are, are stronger, when the front lines are stronger, all the way by Darkuba, uh, we'll, we'll take them out. And then it'll be the Conet that'll be the next target. If you guys agree with that, then yeah. If you guys have other plans, uh, we'll go nuts. Uh, but that'll be it. Uh, peace the fuck out, guys. Peace of fucking button. Fuck!